गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन टुमारो रियोडिक टेस्ट एंड देर फोर आई वुड लाइक टू रिवाइज रिवाइज मीन्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट यू थियोरम्स और सम हिंट्स टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम सर्कल एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन सर्कल दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंट थियोरम इन सर्कल वी हैव ओनली टू थियोरम्स first theorem is the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at point of contact and second theorem this one second theorem is length of tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal it means A is the external point. This is a circle, and you know very well. Maximum two tangents can be drawn to a circle from an external point. So two tangents are drawn in this figure, A, B, and A, C. Now we have to prove A, B is equal to A, C. So whatever the technique. to represent the theorem first of all the theorem statement and then according to the theorem you have to draw the figure to prove that construction and proof these are the topics under which you have to mention your statement So a circle <coughs> whose center is O, A is the external point for a circle, and we have drawn AB and AC. You have to prove AB is equal to AC. Construction is we have joined OB, OA, and OC. So we are getting two triangles, ABO and ACO. We try to prove these two triangles. Contrary. So in these two triangles, you see there are theorems to prove contrary, triple S, S A S, A S A, and R S S. Very very important theorems. By this, any theorem, any theorem, we can prove triangles contrary. Are any triangles are contrary? By CPCD, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal, and then we can prove. So now you see the important part of this theorem: proof. So in these two triangles, OB is equal to OC. Reason: a statement and a reason you have to mention. If you write the only statement. You will not be awarded the mark because you are not mentioning the reason why they are equal, why they are not equal, why this is greater like this. OB is equal to AC. The radii of a circle are equal. This is the reason. And this angle, angle O A B O and A C O, 90 degree. Why it is 90 degree? Theorem number one: Radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Radius is perpendicular to the tangent, and uh, <coughs> therefore these two angles, 90 degree, are therefore equal. And O A is equal to O A. Common, same for both the triangles. So we have seen O B is equal to O C, and O A is equal to O A. Common. And angle ABO is equal to angle ACO. Is there any other method of doing it? This is the radius perpendicular to the tangent. Therefore, they are ninety degree. Therefore, they are equal. Common, and this is the radius of the same side. So this triangle will be congruent. Triangle ABO congruent triangle ACO. अभी हाँ रीजन क्या वाई दिस थ्योरम 
Triple H, SAS, ASA or others. Students are confused that uh, they mention SAS. SAS, you simply if you see the two sides and one angle. Here also two sides and one angle. But SAS means angle should be included. Angle should be included. Not any angle. If two sides and you, if you say only one angle, that is incorrect. The two sides and included. And included means the angle formed by these two sides, which you are mentioning. So therefore, this is not a uh, SAS because these two are equal to this angle should be equal. But these are not equal in this theorem. Angles are here, they are equal. So that will be all it is. Right angle hypotenuse side theorem. What is? In two right triangle, hypotenuse on one side, hypotenuse of one side of other triangle, if they are equal, triangles are congruent. Of pushing it, sir, uh, you are mentioning only two sides, not mentioning the angle. I am telling you in two right angle triangle. Therefore, it is understood one angle is 90 degree. So this is by RSS, they are congruent and CPCD, this will be equal. And that is the theorem. Well then, and this theorem is important from both point of view. So this theorem will be used to solve many questions of the science. You see, suppose I explain some question. Suppose this is the diameter and A and B are the ends, end point. And if you draw a tangent through A, and if you draw a tangent through B, so you have to prove PQ parallel RS. How can you prove? What is the question? Question is the tangents drawn through the end points of a diameter are parallel. How can you prove? So now you see whatever do you have to learn. Now see this is the diameter, where is the radius, and this is the point of contact at which this tangent is intersecting the circle. So this will be 90 degrees according to the of 1. Angle R A O. And so this will be also 90 degree linear there. And this will be also 90 degree theorem 1. And this is also by theorem 1. So all angles are 90 degree, 90 degree. And you know, if two lines are cut right now, sir, so if some of two interior angles of either side of that transversal is 180, the lines are parallel. So this plus this 180, so lines will be parallel. Second, if two lines are cut by transversal, and if alternate interior angles are equal, the lines are parallel. This is 90, this is 90, they are equal, and therefore, by that properties, these two tangents, PQ and RS, are parallel. And third is, if two lines are intersected by a transversal, and if each pair of corresponding angles equal, the lines are parallel. <coughs> corresponding angles equal, then lines are parallel. Since you have a lot of control. So this 90, this 90, sum of two angles is 180, therefore PQ is parallel to RS. 